To begin, come into a child's pose, however is comfortable for you. Knees together or wide. Take the middle fingers to touch and have the elbows wide and a diamond shape on your mat to help the shoulders relax. Just begin to focus in on your breathing here, sending the breath into the low back. Every exhale surrendering more to the floor. Kali is known as a dark goddess and the goddess of death, but the important thing to remember here is that she's not bringing actual uh, death. What she's really representing is the death of the ego, this illusion, this self-centered view of reality that we so often get caught up in. Take the hands and walk the hands over to the left so the right hand is on top of the left root the right sitting bone down and even though she may look fierce she's actually an incredibly compassionate goddess because what she's offering us is liberation You are not just this limited human self. You are so much more, and that's the sense of reality and identity that she wants you to live into, the big self, not the small self. Walk the hands now over to the right. Left hand on top of right, anchor down through the left sitting bone. And her name, Kala, actually, or Kali from Kala, it means time. So she's also freeing you from the illusion of time. She represents dark matter, everything that existed before anything existed, everything that will exist after this moment. She's so all-encompassing. She is the great mother. She's what was, what is, what will be. Come back to center as you're ready. So when she looks fierce and if she scares you, you can come up onto all fours now, just start moving through some cat cows. She's this warrior, but what she is killing is really this idea that you and the rest of the world is separate, right? She's killing this idea of the other and the self, this idea of duality. Her lesson for us is that everything we see is ourselves. Everything we feel, we need to go inside, we need to re-own, reclaim. Press back into a downward facing dog here as you're ready. Just pedal through the legs. Inhale, rock forward to a plank pose. Let your out breath carry you back. Downward facing dog. Pull from the lower abdominals so the seat comes nice and high. A few more times. Inhale, fingers spread wide. Shoulders over wrists. Exhale. Imagine you had a belt buckle right at that space. And you're sending that buckle high up towards the ceiling, drawing the abs in as much as you can. Last time, your breath in. Imagine you're moving through water or honey, so this is super slow controlled movement. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Good, and then take the right leg high to the sky, bend the knee, stack the hips. As you breathe in, send the knee a little higher. As you breathe out, take the knee to the nose. The abs engage, inhale, take that left, uh, right knee high, excuse me, and over to the left elbow now. Good, inhale, right knee high, and over to the right elbow, this time hover, hold, 
get a little fierce here, and then step or carry that right foot to the outside of the right hand. Let the left knee melt into the mat. Lizard pose. Press your hands into the ground. Roll the shoulders down and back. Take the collarbones wide. Lift the heart. Take a deep breath in. And then stick out the tongue for lines. Breath out. Good. Two more. Deep breath in. Stick out the tongue. Lion's breath out. Last one on your own. Gorgeous. Take the hands underneath the shoulders. Step it back to downward facing dog. Inhale, rock forward to plank. Exhale, lower all the way down to the floor. You can take the knees down first or one straight line. Claw the ground here. So first press the hips into the ground and the tops of the feet into the ground. Feel the knees lift. And then make kind of like little claws, almost like you wanted to make dents in your mat. You can look at my hands here, how they're really um, kind of like squeezing the mat. So the palms are actually up. Inhale, get long first and then keeping the engagement of the legs like this long serpent strong tail behind you lift the heart and three deep breaths here kneecaps lifted tailbone lengthens back as you claw the mat think of moving your heart forward in space one more huge breath here exhale forehead to mat take it back Child's pose, downward facing dog, no rush. Waking up the left side of the body. Inhale, take the left leg up and back. Bend the knee, stack the hips. Inhale, get the knee a little higher. Exhale, knee to nose, shoulders over wrists. See if you can really accentuate the exhale left knee back this time across the body over to the right elbow inhale up and back exhale knee to left elbow hover strong exhale as you need to carry or step the left foot to the outside of the left hand right knee drops for lizard first you can just rock a little side to side so as you accentuate the exhale here it's almost becomes like a little growl you're kind of just letting yourself play with this dark energy. Maybe there's some anger within you that you can release right now. Deep breath in. Stick out the tongue. Lion's breath out. Two more. Nice and huge. Inhale. Stick out that tongue. Lion's breath. Really fierce. Last one, your biggest, deepest. Hands underneath the shoulders, pressing back to dog as you're ready. You can move through a vinyasa if that's calling to you now, plank chaturanga up dog, or you can just hold down dog. Steady and iron out your breath here. Inhale, the right leg up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Once again, inhale, up and back. Exhale, step the foot between the hands. Inhale, runner's lunge, so glide the shoulders down and back. Level one, you can stay here. Level two, you can glide the arms alongside the hips and then feel this radiant line of energy heel to crown of head, big breath in. One lion's breath here. Good. Take the hands down wherever you are. You're going to turn to face the edge of your mat, the long side of your mat. So just walk your fingers in and you're going to see that left toe is going to point up in space till you're in skandasana lunge. Deep breath in here. Exhale, lion's breath out. Good. Inhale here. Keep the right hand down and lift the left arm up. Rotate the heart and the chest towards the ceiling. Breathe in nice and deep. 
If you want to take the half bind, you can take the left hand all the way behind you and hold the inner thigh or your pants. One more huge breath. Good. And then crisscross the hands. Turn the toes in and the heels wide until you're in prasarita. Fold the body down. Any movements that feel good to you, maybe you want to kind of sway like seaweed. Make sure the legs are super engaged. So the upper body is nice and soft here, but the legs are strong, firm into all four corners of the feet, kneecaps lifted, quadriceps engaged. Turn the toes out and the heels in. Coming into your goddess squat. Circle the arms down, around, and up. Make those claws again. And then exhale, bring the elbows into the sides of the waist. A lion's breath. Inhale. Keep your squat nice and low. Stick out the tongue, lion's breath. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, try to stay in the squat this whole time. Last one, inhale. Exhale ferociously, nice. Now inhale, straighten the legs, star pose. Take the hands to the hips once again. Turn the toes in, heels out. Interlace the hands behind the low back. Lift the heart, lift the chest, and this time exhale, fold forward with the hands clasped behind you. Ironing out your long, slow, deep breathing. And then coming into a flat back, so inhale halfway up, take the hands to the hips, exhale here. Inhale, come all the way up, turn the left toes forward towards the back of the mat, bend deeply into the left knee, warrior two. Have this fierce, ferocious, steady gaze out the middle finger. You could achieve anything right now. Huge deep breath in. Exhale, coming into side angle. Your choice if you wanna play with the bind or have the left elbow on the left knee or hold the ankle or a block. Inhale, keep the front knee deeply bent. Take it back into reverse warrior. Nice side body stretch. And then exhale, cartwheel the arms down. So you're facing the back of the mat. Step it back, your choice, plank, chaturanga, or skip it. We'll all meet downward facing dog. Inhale, rock forward to plank. On your exhale, spin to the outer edge of the left foot for side plank, right arm up. So you can drop the left knee. This is a little intense, otherwise level two, three. You can stay in side plank. You could consider lifting the right leg or even taking the right leg behind you for a little wild thing. Hmm. We'll all meet back, downward facing dog. Take the left leg high to the sky. Bend the knees, stack the hips. Exhale, draw knee to nose, shoulders over wrists. See if you can find that almost growl at the end of your exhale. Once again, knee to nose, no rush. Good, last time, exhale, knee to nose. This time, step the left foot between the hands. Find that runner's lunge. Glide the shoulders down and back. Level one, you'll keep the hands on the ground. Level two, three, if you want that extra challenge, you lift the hands alongside the hips. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Long line of energy, heel to crown of head. Deep breath in. 
Lion's breath, stick the tongue out. <sighs> Gorgeous. Deep breath. Exhale, walk the hands to the inside of the left foot, coming into Skandasana. And press into the floor and get the heart nice and high. Hopefully feeling the body a little warmer now. Inhale here. Lion's breath out. Here we go. Awesome. Now using all that space that we've made internally, find the twist. So left hand comes to the ground. Right arm reaches up to the sky. You can keep it there or play with a bind or a half bind. Roll the chest towards the ceiling. Every inhale, you lengthen tailbone to crown of head every exhale you come a little deeper into this twist shooting the heart towards the sky crisscross the arms finding yourself in proserito once again toes in heels out Inhale, sweep the arms up, coming into star right away this time. Exhale, goddess. This time take the hands so that the thumbs are on the inside of the thighs or knees. You're gonna dip the right shoulder down and you're gonna lion's breath over the left shoulder. <sighs> Good, and then switch it out. So other shoulder dips down, look up over the opposite shoulder, stick out the tongue, and flowing through this a couple times on your own. Should feel really good on the low back, should feel like a nice juicy, with a lion's breath, I almost feel like it's a massage for the internal organ somehow. Nice. And after your last one, Come into goddess and we'll just do a static hold. Hands at prayer. Sink as low as you possibly can go for three, for two, for one, and then big swoop of the arms up. Exhale, fold, prasarita. Toes in, heels out. Turn the fingertips towards the back edge of your mat now and just walk the fingertips back. Keep the kneecaps lifted, outer edges of the feet really sealed into the mat, quadriceps engaged. Walk the hands back underneath the face, take the hands to the hips, one breath here. And then come all the way up to stand, turn the right toes forward, warrior two. Really fierce, ferocious gaze over that middle finger. Your focus is unwavering. And side angle, so get longer as you come into side angle. Elbow to knee, floor, block. Playing with the bind, if that's fun for you right now. Your in-breath initiates the transition to reverse warrior. Huge side body stretch. And then cartwheel the arms down, plank, chaturanga, or you might be pressing back to dog, and just holding there, whatever feels right for you. Inhale, rock forward to plank. Exhale, spin to the outer edge of the right foot. Lift the left arm up, either modifying or coming into wild thing. Lift the hips. Once you're done, you can optionally take another chaturanga or just press into dog. Rock forward 
and lower all the way to the floor. Final pose, option one, or final active pose, I should say. Option one, engage through the legs, so coming into a back bend. Make those claws, just like we did at the beginning. Inhale, send the heart forward, head forward, and then up. A couple breaths here in a cobra. Same place we were before. Level two, three, if you wanna move on from this, you're gonna bend the knees, hold, the ankles, flex the feet, kick the feet and the ankles into the palms, deep, deep, deep inhale here. And then you guessed it, lion's breath out in your bow pose. <sighs> Once more, huge breath in. Tongue out. <sighs> Good, wherever you are, release it down. Windshield wiper the legs from side to side. Press back into a child's pose. And then up to a seat, legs long in front of you, Dandasana staff pose. Inhale, reach the arms up. You can keep the hands in little claws like I am here. Exhale, just fold forward. And kind of have this claw-like or vice-like grip anywhere on the legs. And accentuate the exhale here. So even in this more restorative forward fold, we're still really getting the exhale fully out, really having a deep connection with the core. Last huge breath and press yourself up. Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet to touch, inhale. Let the chest come nice and tall. And now inhale again, lion's breath. Good, and now you can tip forward or stay upright, just two breaths. Press yourself up. Coming into a seated supine twist. So left leg long, right ankle over the left knee. You can take this variation or you can take the ankle uh, alongside the right hip. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, right hand back. Left elbow hugs in the right knee. And inhale, long, tall in the twist. Exhale, lion's breath out. <sighs> Good. And over to the other side. Right leg long, left ankle over the right knee. Whichever variation you're taking, inhale, arms up. This time left arm peels back, right elbow hugs the knee. Deep breath in, long and tall, exhale. It's like the core squeezes like a sponge ringing out. <sighs> So you do that lion's breath. You can do it once more if you like. From here, you can lie back into a shavasana or just take a comfortable seat. I hope you enjoyed this practice. Just playing and getting in touch maybe a little bit with your own inner darkness, anger, releasing that. I'd love to hear how this class went for you in the comments down below. I'll link in the next screen a meditation that I suggest following this class up with. Take a deep breath in and out. I'm sending you so much love. Namaste. 
Are you falling in love with Kali's wild energy as you get to know her? These videos are only phase one of a full course I'm leading. Only take this next step if you are ready for potent inner transformation, if you recognize a part of Kali's energy within yourself. Click here to join me for this full program before it's too late. I'd love to see you and to connect with you inside. From my heart to yours, namaste.